Autism is a syndrome. Syndrome means a set of symptoms. Symptoms mean a set of behaviors in autism. So we are basically talking about behaviors. Behaviors are all that we have available to us when we deal with autism. But this is not all that is really there. This is all that we can see. But there is much more to that. Because behind and beyond behaviors, there is a world which we cannot see. Behaviors, this is what we usually say, are just the tip of the iceberg. There are three main difficulties. The literature currently identifies these three main areas where difficulties arise. Difficulties concerning social interaction, communication, activities. Initially, you would have to teach everything to autistic children. Um, we try to engage the students in constructive activities as much as possible. All the aspects of our work are individualized to meet the needs of students and their own preferences. We actively aim at encouraging the motivation of the child as a guide for teaching activities. We start off with very simple tasks and we then systematically increase the complexity level. We use a total communication system, augmentative alternative communication if no vocal language is present. We use a language based on signs and images and we teach the child to vocalize. These are two fundamental components. So we use the augmentative alternative communication in the very beginning which is necessary to compensate for the absence of language. The objective is not to teach everything. The objective is to teach...